If you can't solve this problem without using a calculator, well, you may need to do some review of basic math. All right, so let's take a look at the question. We have 30% of 60. All right, now we do have a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 12, B is 18, C is 28, and D is 45. All right, so once again, no calculators, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course, I'm gonna show you exactly how to solve this problem without using a calculator. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we're trying to figure out 30% of 60 without using a calculator. And the correct answer is one of these right here. So before I show you how to find the solution, let's just take a look at how we could eliminate some of these options to this multiple choice question. So the question again is 30% of 60. So what could we do here? Well, maybe one thing you could do is think about what is 50% of 60? All right, so 50% of 60. Now you don't need to be great at math to you know, basically figure out the answer here. 50% is what? Well, that means one half. So if I asked you what is one half of 60, hopefully you could say, well, it is 30. And that would be correct. So 50% of 60 is 30. And we can use this uh, fact to help eliminate some options here. All right, so let's take a look at our answers. So if 50% of 60 is 30, well, what answers here definitely don't make sense. So if we're looking for 30% of 60, and we know that 50% of 60 is 30, well, 30% of 60 must be less than 30. So option D should um, not make any sense to you. So we can eliminate that. And let's look at option C here. So this is 28 and 28 is pretty close to 30. So if 30 is 50% of 60, and we're looking for 30% of 60, well, 28 is pretty close to 30. So maybe uh, 28 doesn't make sense as well. So it's probably pretty good idea to eliminate 28 and certainly 45 as possible answers. So that means that we're left with options A and B. And if you were taking a test and you had to guess, these would be uh, two uh, of the choices that you would want to guess from. All right, so what is the correct answer? Well, the correct answer here is B. All right, now, if you got this right, I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A plus and a 100% great work. And again, hopefully you did not use a calculator. Now, if you did have a calculator, how would we find the answer? Well, hopefully you know how to find the percent of a number with a calculator. So 30% of 60 with a calculator, what we're gonna do is change 30% uh, from a percent to a decimal, right? And how are we gonna do that? Well, what we're doing technically is dividing 30% by 100. But most people are thinking about moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So 30% as a decimal is 0.3. Okay, so we're going to change our percent to a decimal. So 30% is 0.3. And we're going to multiply by 60. So 0.3 times 60 is going to be equal to 18. All right, so this is how we would get the right answer using a calculator. And this is how we would get the right answer, just kind of using some common sense. And of course, we would have to get lucky because I didn't show you how we could find the answer given these two choices right here. But certainly a uh, choice C and D, you know, are not really plausible answers. All right, so how do we find 30% of 60 without using a calculator? Well, let's take a look at that right now. Before I finish this problem, take a quick second and consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. And the whole reason I want my channel to grow on YouTube is so I can reach as many people as possible and help them in mathematics. I look at every person that uh, has subscribed. 
Now, by the way, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But if you do subscribe to my channel, I consider all of you like students of mine. So I really try to be conscientious and post high quality math content. And my channel covers everything from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Now, if you need math support, if you really need to learn mathematics, you definitely have to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get alerts when I post a new video. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. All right, so let's talk about how we're going to find 30% of 60 without using a calculator. Well, the steps are going to be the same as if we were using a calculator. And namely, what we're going to do is change 30%, not into a decimal, but into a fraction. Because remember, with a calculator, we change 30% into a decimal and multiplied it by 60. Now, you could do that if you're really comfortable working with decimals. You can say, all right, well, 0 0.3 times six zero and then do all this uh, arithmetic to find the answer. That is one approach, but it's a lot easier to think of 30% not as the decimal point three, but as the fraction 30 over 100. Okay, so really what's going on when you're changing a percent into a decimal. Now, most people, again, are familiar with moving the decimal point over two places to the left, but technically what you're doing is putting that percentage over 100. So when you change a percent into a decimal, you really are dividing by 100. So we can really think of 30% as the fraction 30 over 100. And this is gonna make our life a lot easier here because we can easily reduce this fraction down to 3 tenths. All right, so 30% is equivalent to the fraction 3 tenths. So now what we're gonna do is take this fraction and multiply it by 60 to get our answer. So now that we know that 30% is equivalent to the fraction 3 tenths, all we have to do is multiply it by 60 to get the answer. All right, so we have 3 tenths times 60. How do we multiply fractions? Well, this is actually very easy. All we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. Okay, so that means we're going to have 3 times 60 over 10 times 1. But if you're pretty good with reducing fractions, Hopefully most of you out there can say, well, or see that we have this 10, that 10 can go into this 60 six times and three times six is 18. Or you can look at the problem this way. We have three times 60 over 10. So this would be 180 over 10, which of course would be 18. All right, so again, 18 is our final answer. And if you weren't able to figure this out without using your calculator, well, no big deal. We are so used to using our calculators for all things math, but it's a good idea to brush up on your basic arithmetic skills as you really do need to understand basic mathematics to be successful in things like algebra. So let me recommend two of my courses. The first course is called my Math Foundations course. It's just a basic math review. It won't take you too long to get through, but I cover fractions, decimals, all this kind of basic stuff, everything that we learned way back in elementary and primary school that is so essential for us to understand more complicated mathematics. You gotta get the foundations down strong in order to be successful, again, in things like algebra. But if you wanna learn basic math and then continue on to algebra and geometry, well then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to all these courses in the description and much, much more. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.